I sometimes get the question about when to use the volume bar versus when to use the gain slider in the properties panel. So let's talk about that in this video. I use the audio bar when I want to change just one section of my audio. For example, here, a lot of times I'll be talking about something and when I know I get to the end of the sentence, I'll tend to trail off. So I'll have that last little bit of the sentence a little bit lower or less volume than I have the rest of the sentence. So what I can do here is I can just select this time, this section, and I can see those peaks are a little lower than the peaks next to it. With this time selected, I'll grab the audio bar and drag it up just a little bit so that those peaks are a little bit more consistent. I wanna make sure to not let those peaks touch the top because then we'll lose part of the audio signal and that's not good. But this is one way that I'll use the audio bar to edit just one part of my video. Another place I'll do this is when I have these breaths. So sometimes I'll be talking and I'll do like a, and I'll have like this rather large or loud inhale and I wanna get rid of that. And so the way I do that is I'll select that little bit of time like I did right here and I'll use a keyboard combination where I'll do Shift S and Shift S makes all of this silent. So let me show you, I'll grab a different area so you can see what that's like. Let's assume that this was a breath, even though it's not. I'll select this time and I'll do Shift S. And now when I select this, I look and I see that the audio points went all the way down to zero and then back up during that section. So that made everything silent when I used Shift S. Now I don't want that, so I'll use Control Z to undo. I'll use the gain when I wanna select all the audio from multiple clips. So let me zoom out of this video and I'll show you, I grabbed all the clips on this track. So I right click and select all media on track. And then I dragged the gain all the way down to zero because I didn't want to use the audio on this track. I wanted to use the audio on a different track. But if I do undo on all of these, you can see that the gain comes back up to 100%. So rather than going into each track and saying, well, let's minimize this one and then let's minimize this one and then let's minimize this one. I don't want to do that. Instead, I'll say grab all of these and just make the gain on all of these none. So when you have multiple clips you need to adjust, gain is the way to do it. The other way I use gain is for my background audio. So here you can see my gain is at 20% and that tends to be a good level. If I undo this and make it 100%, then it tends to overshadow my voice and it's difficult to hear my voice. So most audio, if you wanna use it for background, you'll wanna drop it to about 20% of its level. And again, I could grab the bar and kind of find about where 20% is, but I don't wanna do that. Instead, I'll just say, I know I like it around 20%. And then if I need to adjust that number here, it's a lot more granular. I can go to 21 or 22% if I need to, rather than trying to find that specific place when moving this bar up and down. And if you wanna learn more about how I edit my audio, be sure to check out these two videos where I go behind the scenes and show you how I do my audio editing and how I get similar or consistent audio levels across my videos. 